chess can also be beautiful. Hi, love. Anya. Oh, good morning in Peru. Good afternoon in London. How you do? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Very well. I'm so happy to meet you. Everyone is crazy about this show, so congratulations for that. And it's the number one show in the world for next week, so how do you feel? I mean, I've never been very good with numbers. My brain kind of stops understanding, like, at 5,000 people. Um, <laughs> two million households is a lot for my head to understand. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm so, I'm, I'm so happy that people love the show. You know, uh -huh. it's wonderful that people care. She's got it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. I think it's for an actor, uh, it's like a dream character. You got all the spectrum of emotions, a roller coaster thing, and for a teenager girl to a woman sophisticated and elegant. So I suppose you enjoy a lot all, all those elements in one character. Oh, absolutely. I was very, um, I was very excited by the prospect of getting to spend seven hours with a character. I've never, you know, really done that before with the, with the focus being so much on one central protagonist. Um, mm. And I'm so grateful that that was the case because I loved Beth so much that if it had been a movie, it wouldn't have been enough time for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I think at the end of the seven hours, I was able to let her go in a more gentle way. Whereas if it had been a movie, I would have gone kicking and screaming. So that's good. Yes, and, and your hair is so long. I remember Netflix put a, a, a small clip that you are just putting the wig very slowly and it's like magic. It's, you became her. So every day the transformation, how was it? Oh, I loved it. I've always wanted to have red hair. My whole life <laughs> I wanted to have red hair. And the first thing that I yelled at Scott when I met him, I, I ran to meet Scott in the restaurant because I was so excited to meet him. And the first thing I did is I like I ripped open the restaurant door and I screamed, it's not just about chess and she has to have red hair. Like, <laughs> okay. I was like, There's no way that she's okay. going to be a redhead. Um, okay. So it was, it was wonderful. And also it was nice because And I know this sounds weird, but at the end of the show, I was able to like say goodbye to her in a way that wasn't, you know, I was able to separate the two. Uh -huh. I think that's quite helpful. Well, creativity and psychosis often go hand in hand. Or for that matter. Genius and madness. Tell me about your research, because it's very technique and a lot of things, you know, how do you play, how do you move? So the, the, you know, the previous part to become the character, how, how complicated was? I mean, th there wasn't much prep in that department. I'm a very instinctual actor. Um, mm -hmm. And Beth, you know, each character has come through differently for me. Whenever I've played them, I've realized that I don't have a method. Um, and Beth was there. From the second I read her, I was like, aha, Beth. This <laughs> <Okay>. is, hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> But in terms of uh, in terms of playing chess specifically, just the second I first sat down with a board in my head, like I started doing this thing with my fingers where I wanted her to have a delicate way of playing, but also mm. play with an aggression. And we were lucky enough to have some wonderful chess consultants on the show. Mm. And, you know, my main thing was the actor in me wants to do this. Does this fly in the chess community? And yeah. my sensei, Bruce Pandolfini, said, I've never seen anyone move the chess pieces like that, but if you can <laughs> do it convincingly, I uh -huh. completely buy that she would move the chess pieces. Of course. I, in, the, in the episode three, there's a beautiful one single shot when you are entered to the hotel with a camera follow you, you go up the stairs and work. You know, see the cinematography and the visual of the show is so rich. So in that particular moment, do you remember how many takes you do the whole thing? I think we might have done like five, five mm -hmm. or six. Um, I love technical acting. Like it's, I think it's because I used to be, a, or I am a dancer. I really, I don't find um, boundaries like that limiting. I actually find them mm. very freeing because you come to something very interesting within those limits. Um, drink. And I'm also, I just love filmmaking. Like I geek out over cameras and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and lots of stuff that isn't acting. So 
I love and relish the opportunity to get to collaborate with um, the director and the DP in that way of saying, okay, where's the camera going to be? And, oh, maybe it's interesting if I disappear here for a while and then come uh -huh. back. It's, it's wow. exciting for me. Favorite outfit? <laughs> um, probably the majority of Russia. I feel like that's when Beth is has distilled her essence and she is who she is. And I love the fact that it's structured and the tailoring's really good, but there's also like a, a military element to it. It's like still aggressive and <laughs> that's my girl. So <laughs> Looking gorgeous. Time's up. Thank you so much for your time and see you next time soon. Sagrayam. <laughs>